Good evening, everyone. In this video tonight, we'll do our reading about the thoughts, feelings, intentions, and I'm gonna use two tarot decks and one Symbolon deck, which is my new deck, and I'm not very good at reading it, but we'll try to get into that relationship with those cards. We I want to see how they work in this setting. Also, before doing this reading, I'd like to tell that my all readings are for entertainment purposes only. I'd like you to look at it like more of as an idea. You can get ideas from cards, you know, uh, but not using them as complete guide in life. And um, yeah, be a bit pessimistic and critical towards them. Also, it's important not to watch too many videos like these. Anyway, so if you'd like to participate in this particular reading about their thoughts, feelings, intentions, please think of a person and choose a deck. It can be also non-romantic reading. It can be anyone. It can be a dog, you know, and we'll try to pick up on those energies. So take your time and we'll start this reading. have it chosen. So let's start with our deck of number one. Their thoughts. their feelings, their intentions, so looking at their thoughts about you, we do have some uh, like a sad card, so maybe it's representing you that's sad. For example, they see you as someone sad. Now have like a warrior card after that, like as if you're angry, you come up as someone who's like uh, complaining or talking about uh, being sad, you know, and bringing it out into action. And uh, you know, there's a little bit of that, uh, some sort of like sadness or. Uh, people might perceive as complaining or negativity or even anger that you want to express and with the six of wands we have that you know you make sure you're kind of successful with showing it to others like you're talking about it you're loud about it and um, you know everybody knows about it like that sort of thing so maybe um, oh, it can also be that you're um somehow succeeded in life after something sad happening in your life maybe you've written a book about bad experience or maybe you were depressed before but you were able to overcome it and now you're successful and fine and maybe you even received some sort of certificate or like a promotion or something like that and you may seem as someone, you know, stubborn, brave, and, you know, achiever, and someone who can make the lemonade, lemonade out of lemons. So that's how it seems, that's how the, the aspect that they're seeing in you. Their feelings, their feelings. Wow, so we have a uh, very big feelings strong feelings this shows that you they are in a con like a contract a partnership with you like in touch with you maybe your friends or family or partners you know we have like a family card here and uh, six of cups uh, both of these cards can talk about like the past and nostalgia and things that like memories like you both have a strong nostalgia like a very strong past that's connecting you with each other and this is holding you together 
uh, like some sort of partnership so it can be that it's still ongoing like very like of children family like very gentle feelings and emotions are connecting you are intimate uh, feelings but for some people out there it might be that these are the feelings from the past things that happen before and only memories are left you know or you're basing your current relationship on nostalgia on how great it was before that sort of thing now their intentions okay so we, we have well, a little bit of a, like a weird should i say weird cards we have um son of swords of course that sometimes can mean confidence sometimes can mean research sometimes it can mean cheating you know and tiptoeing and trying not, not to be seen you know we have some party celebration friends and we have the page of rods which is like messages and can be young people and young energy so who knows intentions you know can represent uh, again, the three is being repeated from judgment. Uh, I call it the family of three sometimes, especially in this deck. And we have three here, so it can still represent your family. It can, if you're the three of you, that's your relationship. It can still represent your family and that they're planning something about the family that's not working quite as planned and this card can represent the child in the family but uh, in some cases can represent also uh, some young influences from the friends group or friends side is kind of coming in and it's a little bit like a party like a forbidden party vibe um some immaturity some play you know that sort of thing so their intentions are basically to to have fun to um, to be less serious to maybe take some risks definitely have a party surprise you with I don't know a party a message in some cases can be you know watch out for the third person who can be in the party or a part of the party so that sort of situation we have here what do you mean by that some okay for me this seems more like financial dependence and obligations like they have to uh, support you financial financially and they intend to do that in the future like they're bound bound to do that it's like a promise okay so that sort of situation what is the device for you in this relationship it's like everything is okay everything is all right uh chill appreciate other better parts of it like you're overall happy in this and you should be aware of that that's how i interpret this card it's like just uh, enjoy the good things enjoy if you're being spoiled enjoy the comforts maybe in life if there are comforts like luxury holiday things like that can be simple things like related to the body and the bodily comforts but it can be it can mean enjoying those things so this was our reading number one uh, i hope it resonated with your situation please share in the comments what do you think of this reading let's try our symbol on deck i know this is um deck based on astrology okay and but one doesn't have to interpret it or use astrology while using the deck you can use just looking at the pictures you know pictures are very colorful 
and uh, get too many situations in life and I want to try this on you today <laughs> so I hope you thought of a person what do they think of you what do they think of you their feelings their intentions and advice for you <clears throat> okay so we have a situation as you can see a card is so expressive so the first card is like almost like high priestess the first card it shows uh, like a uh, oracle you know it's, it means some Greek oracle um, in Greek mythology and it's basically as I understand this card is like a high priestess card like secrets or cult you know symbols like something like that like something unexplainable something very hard to explain so what do they think of you uh, we have this some clear unexplainable unclear unexplainable symbols and then we have this illness thing that's talking that you need to rest or you know or have been ill recently or have been rested recently you know we have this some sort of fight so maybe it they think of you that you've been through some hard times recently maybe you had to fight an illness maybe you had to like maybe talks about unexplainable illness or un very difficult or unclear illness maybe spiritual issue uh, some people might have been through some spiritual upheaval or as they say like very bad mood or depression or even uh, a curse you know in some situations and uh, the fact that you've been fighting it or been irritated because of it or something like that happened so that's their thoughts now what are their feelings about you so we have this first card it means an oath uh, it's like a black mass but in this deck it just means that it, there was like a spell or curse done like uh, which basically translates into an oath and like you swore something like you promised something or you know or maybe they they did it and uh, we have the card of kind of like fate duality and it's always mnemosine another greek deity which represents memory memory and uh something coming out like subconsciously so they're these cards basically they focus on something deep more deep feelings so uh, their feelings about you is maybe uh, there was a promise they made that's coming back and it's this card is very funny I think uh, who could have thought it's uh, the children of two kings it means it's like being a daddy's girl and mama's boy and there is this um, like people in a way they they are damaged uh, if they have this relationship with their parents, if they've been called that and they're never able to find another person like them and therefore uh, this card talks about letting go of that um, identification with being mama's boy or uh, daddy's girl you know that sort of thing because it can affect relationships later in life so there is some sort of like um let's say issue of gender you know some sort of like uh deeper things coming out you know so let's say boy and girl we can translate it into boy and girl um some promise some something like it's coming back to them like they're remembering you they're remembering you they're remembering the times that they were with you 
and I think it was a little bit imperfect relationship or unusual relationship or maybe these scars just make it seem like everything is unusual but um, and so that sort of situation uh, the memory coming back and their intentions this card means um, like a disagreement because both of them standing like you know uh, on the other side of the tree and facing backs to each other and basically talks about how everything has two sides to it and um, how it has different perspectives and sometimes we cannot focus on certain perspectives so it talks about um, like I don't know studying something because it's a card of knowledge so studying about um, maybe a different option or alternative and trying to risk something like they, they want to do something new like this is the leap of faith and uh, it's coming from uh, studying maybe the other side of the situation maybe trying to open up what is that leap of faith relating to do they want to come back do they want to take it to the next level this relationship okay and we have this uh, like a hermit the, the, the grandpa the priest who is very studious and uh, and so to say uh, studious and wise yeah and this shows us that actually they're trying to take a leap of faith towards you and this car means fate this old man and uh, maybe like it's a okay i'm saying fate fated it can be bad it can be good both uh, but it's gonna affect the whole relationship there whatever they're gonna do right now is gonna like change the relation like it's it's meant to happen it's very spiritual so so i think it's deep relationship it's a soul relationship like probably all relationships but uh, it's more like conscious like the person is more conscious of what they are they're doing they, they're consciously aware of the spirituality of this and they consciously working with this spiritually and they are consciously risking and they consciously going to where they have to go let's have a look at the advice we have the card of confession confession said that uh, basically there's something heavy about this relationship that you haven't told anybody maybe a secret maybe some guilt maybe something heavy heavy and you need to talk to somebody about this uh, in order to talk to somebody about this it's important to acknowledge that it's heavy and accept it that there is some burden spiritual burden and that it needs to be like somehow first accepted acknowledged accepted first acknowledged then accepted and then maybe confessed or expressed somehow uh, written in a book told to a priest told to a friend you know yeah but it starts with yourself so this this type of reading these cards gave us extra deep extra spiritual uh, I hope uh, I mean I don't know whether you be able you were able to relate to them please let me know in the comments did you relate to this reading how did you relate to this reading was it working for you and from which perspective because sometimes certain cards affect a certain perspective for example psycho uh, spiritual perspective spiritual side some more um, work with practical perspective so yeah this was our reading number two and let's move on to our reading number three right away it
their thoughts. their feelings, their intentions, and advice. So, their thoughts, this can represent your beautiful, romantic, and fears. Okay, so now these cards can definitely say that you're definitely very pretty for them. You're just like embodiment of femininity and feminine beauty. Uh, the star card. It's like a pretty girl. It's like feminine woman. You know, long hair, uh, cute face, great figure, and also very gentle. And they see you as this beautiful, beautiful girl or woman. Now the King of Cups can represent the fact that you have someone like a partner already and the Knight of Swords can say that that partner is pretty fierce, you know, he's pretty, it can be angry, you know, or jealous or something like that. So you're the pretty girl, the jealous partner. Uh, yeah, that's how I would see this. Another meaning would be that you yourself have a lot of water in yourself like a water energy so you might be um, actually very emotional and very floaty you know very kind of like uh all emotions and the knight of swords can represent that you sometimes burst out uh, into sudden expression of those emotions it can come out as scary unexpected unpredictable angry things like that and even jealous Another information I'm getting from these is that you might be overweight or soft in your body. So, you know, the, because this water, you know, is very kind of expansive and flowy. I don't know, just it feels like, like that. So, yeah, don't get offended. It can be a good thing. Some people like that. And now let's have a look at our emotions their feelings a very quiet very stable very like uh, the feelings their feelings a very like constant like normal quiet calm uh, very solid you know maybe your family some sort of familiarity the house the family maybe you met through a family or you live together your husband and wife you know if that's not the case with a first interpretation so maybe you're a family and the feelings are kind of like sometimes numb they're kind of numb they're taking you for granted you're theirs you're in the house you kind of you're already conquered you're not going away that sort of feeling you know like calm cozy family feeling no drama nothing and the feelings are like steady also we have the six of pentacles which is a good card for sharing cooking cleaning and exchanging of energies it can be that you're living a routine life normal life and there's some sort of like uh exchange of favors towards each other one is cooking one is working one is cleaning one is helping you know and it's something like that like some practical help happening uh, exchange of activities exchange of energies so that sort of uh, calmness for me is going here stability family coziness sometimes over calm too calm what are their intentions again queen of pentacles the magician so they are very interested in some action maybe they want to be active when it comes to money making or you know using their skills their intellect to their the best they can so maybe they want to help you with something maybe they want to provide maybe this person wants to gift you something give you more you know be there for you they have lots of 
um, like power, talent, skills that they want to, you know, give you. Use it. Like they might be super educated or super qualified or super talented. What else? Again, we have money, family, work uh, with this card. Ten of Pentacles. This can talk about them, you know, being interested in providing, them being um, interested in earning a lot of money, also uh, being interested in socializing and being there for you. You know, again, family, socializing, neighbors, uh, community, uh, belonging, can be money, companies success you know long-term card long-term intentions to be always there that sort of thing and advice card I have the husband card uh, with Emperor we can talk the, about you being able to rely on this person like they're very responsible you know they're very caring and they're very stable you know they might be traditional sometimes a bit and they might like you know to be acknowledged as as such you know so so it's overall security guaranteed security and protection guaranteed you know the traditional macho love is guaranteed and uh, sometimes can this car can also advice how to be for you with this person so you should be like an emperor and the emperor means also being very courageous protective stable and more like logical than emotional you know more like looking at the facts and um, less to the emotions for example being stable too being protective too, being strong too, you know, and uh, being like a mountain, basically, like being like a mountain uh, in this relationship. So yeah, this was our reading number three. I do hope this was somewhat helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments and as usual, very sorry. <laughs> For not posting these regularly it was a bit impossible recently but I'll try to post whatever I can and it's gonna be irregular for a while so thank you for watching I hope you have a wonderful day and see you later bye bye